Young nigga back and get the wall, trying to make some men. Always find with the older crowd, trying to get some tips. Either you grind or you take the bitch. Either you shine or you don't exist. They play their role, so I cause it. this. I'm touching pros, I just got a grip. It's in my face like I got a sis. My baby bomber scored my sis. When the relapse on her, I got a hit. I like to wear a pussy bomber. I dived in that water hit. First time I burnt my skin. See some janky niggas in her drama. Ain't no how to swim. I hop in my bag and got on that room instead of sis. It's staring in my pants like that up in jail. Chop a hip. Pop him in the stomach, fuck up his limb, run him like a lion. You know these niggas, I'm something like Zimmer. Standing on the block, like a shot, so I'm playing the same. But I'm getting freaky at the point, cause I'm something like him. You could call it winter time, I rock and reset all winter. Summertime, we gonna get gritty like a large pig. Y'all be in these other niggas' business, that's the wrong end. I'm on my work part, like he said. What up, though, YouTube? What's the deal? What up, though, YouTube? What's the deal? We back in the building. Brillo the big review. If this your first time coming across the page, lock into the real. You know the deal. Like, subscribe. You already know the vibe. What's good? How are y'all feeling today on this Saturday? I'm feeling good. You know we about to have a ball up in here. Got a special message. Before we get it going, got a special message from a near and dear friend of mine. In the motherfucking streets today, pressing these niggas. Hard as fuck. All right? I need you to lock in, bro. You hear me? I need you to lock in. I need you to turn me up. Hit the subscribe button. Lock into the real. You know the deal. And I got a message for you haters. You disgusting, despicable haters. See, some people know how to win. They always win. See, that's me. No matter what, nothing can stop me from winning. Then some people can never win. That's you. The TVC press tour will never end. You suckers will never win. You know the deal. We up in here. We got the story of Malcolm Howard. One of my favorite characters. One of my favorite characters. Can't believe I'm saying that of a cop. One of my favorite characters. Let me see who up in here. I'm about to check the comments real quick before we get it going. OT in the building. What's good, my guy? What's good? Demarcus in the building. Yeah, OT, you was right, too. We had a little conversation in the Discord about the wire, about Bodie. And, yeah, Bodie was, was – I mean, you got to call him a rat. I mean, even though he didn't get a chance to, I said he should have went on ahead and crashed out. He shouldn't have said a word. And there you have it. Samara in the building. Mr. Jones in the building. What's good? Flip Jackson, what's good, my guy? We're about to get it going. We're about to talk about Detective Howard. OT, on, he on that beat. He on that BS already. Talk about the worst five in the power universe. Hey, I, I, I'm on record saying that Malcolm Howard was one of the best fathers in the power universe. Now, I do understand a lot of stuff that he did was for his self-interest. We're going to break it down. But before we do that, man, let me know. Do you think Howard was a good father or a bad father? Let me know in the comments real quick before we get it going. The story of Malcolm Howard. We got Booby in the building. What's up, gang? R.I.P. to the realest, man. Howard. Detective Malcolm Howard. One of the realest, man. O.T., you out of pocket, bro. You got to put some respect on the OG name, man. And I'm going to break it down for y'all. Let, let me know in the comments. Am I tripping? Is Malcolm, because I think Malcolm was a good father. Let me know what you think. R.I.P. to the boy, man. R.I.P. You see this shit? Let me see what y'all think. Let me know, man. Was he good, bad? What you think? My man DeMarcus say Howard was a great father, but a terrible person. I agree. Howard didn't have enough scenes with Kanan. I also agree. OT off the porch with it say Howard was a pedophile. Chester, Chester. You know what I'm saying? He was a Chester, which is big facts. Howard taught Kane how to play chess. Oh, 
Come on, man. Meg Allen. You see, Meg say he wasn't a father at all. A donor is more like it. Oh, let's be fair. Let's break it all the way down, right? Take a trip down memory lane. And I'm talking about season one, Razor Canaan. So we didn't we, we didn't even learn that that Howard was his father to like episode five, right? Rock had been keeping his big secret for, for that long, right? For for years. This man didn't even know he had a child. So, I mean, if you don't know you have a child, you can't really be expected to take accountability for raising the child if you didn't know, even know he existed. Now, let's go to the beginning. Now, I wish, I'm hoping we get answers to this, right? Howard is a cop. He's dealing with Rock. Hopefully, even though he is a pack right now, rest in peace, rolling smoke, even though he's rolling smoke, I'm hoping we get answers to these questions. And my question is, you know what I'm saying, what was the relationship with Rock? You know, we need more answers to this que to these questions. Uh, was she actually his informant? Did they take anybody down? Like, what we, we need answers to these questions. I don't think we're going to ever get them because Howard is dead right now, which is a, we'll never get it. We're we only going to have to speculate. What was their relationship? When did she find out he was a cop? Because I'm sure he didn't approach her like, yeah, I'm a cop. You know what I'm saying? Let's do this, do it, do this, and do that. When did she find out that this man was 5-0? That's the question that I want to know. But I don't think we'll get it because this dude is a pack. Rock put him down. I feel like she had to at this point. But I mean, let me know what y'all think. Did, did Rock have to eliminate this fool? So, season one, we already know, you know what I'm saying, what happened. Let me pull it up real quick. This is, Meg, this is why I say he was a, he was a father, right? Or at first, he needed the bone marrow, right? He had cancer. He needed bone marrow. He found out Canaan was his son. Yes, he wanted to be a part of his life because he needed Canaan to stay alive. He needed him to, to be a match, you know what I'm saying, to stay alive, to beat cancer. But after this... Once I heard someone say that a friend killed me for you, but the best friend will help you bury the fucking body. So you know your son for all of a couple of, of weeks, you know this is your son, and he pops you, right? And you already got your bone marrow. You know what I'm saying? Why did he do all of this stuff for Kanan? Like, why was he still trying to be a part of this kid's life when he didn't need to? That was his biggest mistake. He should have washed his hands of Rock, Kanan, the Thomas family, all of them, you know what I'm saying? Once he, once this happened, it should have been a wrap once he got popped. Rock is setting you up. <clears throat> once I heard someone say that a friend killed me for you, but the best friend will help you bury the fucking body. He should have left them alone at that. This is why, this is when I started to say he was a good father because he didn't need Canaan for anything. He could have just washed his hands of the whole situation, never answered Rock's calls, and did and retired and just left. Said, flock him, flock Rock, flock everybody. I don't have a son. He tried to, and I couldn't even blame him for that. Right? Let me see. OT said them storylines died with him. I hope not because I need definitive proof. That rock is not a snitch. I need definitive proof, even though OT already got his answers because he he going off of Neek. When, when people usually call rock a snitch, they're not usually talking about Neek. They're usually talking about a theory about DEF CON, a theory about Marvin, and things of that nature. But I personally need that to come out. Whether it's true or not, I need it to come out. But I think OT is right. Them storylines are, are, are dead, so we're left to speculate. We will not have a definitive answer as to their relationship when she found out he was a cop and this and that. All the questions that we need answers to, I don't think we'll have a definitive answer as they move through this 
plot. I think it's gonna be more focused on Kanan, and that that is what it is, right? So with Howard's death, I think we all left to speculate, and whatever you believe is just gonna have to be what you believe, and we're gonna be arguing forever about it, arguing forever about about it because people are not gonna let it go. Now back to Howard. What was his reason? This is when, when I start to say he was a good father. You got to think of everything that he did. He got famous out of jail, right? New famous was a bozo. He didn't even have to get famous out of jail. And this is going to play into season four, you know, because why in the hell would he get famous out of jail? We saw famous was solid, but a person is solid until they're not. And they're still going to bring that up. Why did Howard help Famous? He didn't have to. He should have left Cannon alone. See, when he was doing stuff that he couldn't benefit from, that's when I started to believe that this guy is actually a good father. He might decide to see that. Can you do for that road you got him on? I saw that in his eyes that night. The game ain't for him. Now, I ain't gonna knock Cannon for pop me. I deserve what happened that night. He said he deserved what happened that night. Kanan is not built for that role. He knows Rock and lined him up, and Kanan shot him, and he still wants to be a part of this kid's life. That That's different right there. Most people would have just left it alone. What's good, Lays? My guy in the building. He said, y'all, y'all think they're going to throw us a trick with a Howard, too? Uh, hell no, nah, man. Howard got popped in the head. Nah, it, it ain't no coming back from that. They ain't doing that. See, with Neek, you ain't see a body, this, this, and that. But Howard, nah, ain't no coming back from that, gang. It is a wrap. I mean, Raquel rock a bye baby, my man. Rolled and smith oaked him, something crucial. I ain't no coming back from this. This was close range to the side of the head. It, it ain't nothing they can do. It ain't nothing they can do. You see this shit? I swear the kill shots and Razor Cannon are phenomenal. Just... Take a look at how, you know what I'm saying, the blowback action after that headshot. Yeah, it ain't no coming back from there. Howard is done. You see this shit? Yeah, that splatter is crazy. But my question is this. Why did Howard, if he's not a good father, why was he still trying to help Kanan and trying to help Brock. I get some people going to say, uh, you know, Detective Burke figured everything out. Well, this dude could have retired and left, and Burke had no concrete information. She had no concrete evidence. Nothing was going to stick. He didn't have to do what he did, but he didn't want her to continuously, you know, nose around, so to speak. So that's, in fact, why he did what he did. For, for his family, which is Canaan and Rock, the irony. What about all the shit you did to cover it up, Uncle? You had Sam killed. I know it was you. It had to be. If you did that, who knows what else you could have done? Who knows? Man. Hey, that was probably my favorite elimination of the uh of the season was that one right nobody saw that coming also to speak at her funeral that's when i really he, he, like howard howard was a very interesting character i started to like his characters towards the end that speech at her funeral that's top tier man that's diabolical that's diabolical but ultimately everything that he did and this one thing that caught him up one thing that caught him up in this this sucker right here, this asshole right here, Lulu with his drunk, disgusting ass. 
he is this the this was the final call uh nail in the coffin of Howard because he had no excuse as to why he was trying to find this bump. Why was he trying to find this bump? This is why I say, man, they should have cut their losses with this dude. If it wasn't for Lulu, Howard could still be a lot. No, they had nothing. But there's no way he can explain having, you know what I'm saying, these cops uh, find Lulu. It's, no, it's nothing that he can uh, explain. It's no, it's, he can't explain his way out of this. Remember previously, he could explain his way out of the Burke situation, going to talk to her dad. He could easily explain his way out of that. And he was on point with that. But this Lulu situation, this bozo going and talking to, to this lady and crying on the... I, I couldn't stop him. I tried. I, I did. He not here no more. It's my fault. And once they figure it out, they try to... I'm not going to lie to you. I would have rather saw them rolling smoke Lulu over Howard, man. Lulu deserved it deserved his death more than Howard. Let me know on my tripping. Who you picking? Lulu or Howard? <laughs> hey, who are y'all picking to get up out of here? Lulu or Howard, man? They should have got rid of Lulu. He was the reason why Howard was cooking. They had a man on the inside. I don't blame him for trying to uh, uh, line up Marvin. You no, know, I already did the video about Marvin, him going on dates with Gerald and all this and that. I don't mind Howard trying to line Marvin up. That was the right play, but they should have got rid of Lulu instead of Howard, man. Ultimately, helping them out was his demise. It was his demise, helping this dude out. So, we straight killers, yo. So we do. Thing. And he was also going to have to explain a lot. Let me let me see. He was going to have to explain a lot. Just fucking sorry. That would have came back on him. I know they we didn't they didn't have enough time to talk about her her death or whatever her murder. They they kind of just left it left it as that. But that was definitely coming back on Howard because that cop the the uh the one cop knew that you know what I'm saying Howard went to talk to to her and then she come up missing. Come on, man. The walls were closing in on him, and the last strike was him helping Lulu. He should have told Rock no. But he figuring Lulu gonna tell everything. He should have went on here and smoked Lulu. Like, I, I, I'm still not understanding why is this dude around? What purpose does Lulu serve? And Lulu is ultimately the reason why a great man, Detective Malcolm Howard, is packed up right now. But also he he didn't have to he could he should have just went on a went on a run like he put himself in the meeting that was definitely a fumble definitely a fumble to insert yourself in the damn meeting that's crazy my man demarcus say i wonder if famous will figure out that howard is Kane's father yes in season four everybody's clapping it up for famous right right now mark my words mark my words he's going across Kane. For his own self-interest. He's in the blender. He 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 said lawyer. He's gonna have a public defender nine times out of ten. He don't got cheese to afford no lawyer. He gonna get pressed by them feds. They're gonna be asking him, why did Howard help you? Why did Howard help get you out of prison? He's not gonna be able to, to, to come up with an answer. He's gonna remember that the daddy test, as he said, and the initials MH. Howard keeps popping around. He's going to figure it out. Definitely going to figure it out. Heck, I imagine if Lou had been on his stuff again, the Italians, they could have took over Jersey for real. Facts. Damn, if Lulu was on point this season, 
man, that would have gave the season a whole nother dynamic because we, we've we never seen Rock, Lulu, and Marvin all on point. It's usually Rock and Lulu for the first season. Then, then Rock got out of the game. Marvin is on point. Then it's Rock and Marvin. But we never seen all three siblings on point like that that would have been unstoppable in my opinion but when you're dealing with suckers like lulu and they chose to get rid of a great character a great character only to have to still keep lulu and now we're not gonna get the damn questions to the answers that we need and the reason i say you can't say he was the worst father the reason i say he was a good father maybe not the best it's because he just found out he had a son. His son shot him, and he still wanted to be a part of his life and tried to protect him. He died trying to protect his son. He could have just went on a run months ago. He didn't have to go try to find Lulu. He put his name, and that was kind of stupid, too. To put your name out there that you're trying to find, Lou Thomas, that's a little out of pocket. Like, come on, you got to be smarter than that. You've been, you've been making smart moves. All this time, you've been making smart moves all this time, but then you you can't put a buffer in between that or something like, dude. I would they would have had to find him on their own. I can't be a part of this, or they should have just put Lulu down, bro. Even though everybody would have made it like Rock was a monster, this, this, and that, bro. This is not even a question, man. Two similar situations. They didn't know they had children, right? Mecca, damn, this is a good question because Mecca, he had the cheese. And he tried to put Zeke, he had Zeke riding foreign on, uh, immediately. Didn't want Zeke in the game, but then he also outed Zeke. That's why Zeke got, got uh, you know what I'm saying, in trouble with the NCAA because Mecca outed him. Right, but he he definitely wanted to uh be a part of his son's life. I would say Howard because Howard died trying to protect Kanan. He died trying to protect Kanan. I mean, simple as that. But this is a good question. Very similar situations. Fathers that did not perform. disgusting mothers lying about the father of your child. Just disgusting. Monet, Monet and Rock. Like, come on. Despicable. If the streets found out Kanan's real dad was a cop, he would have never made it from Power OG. Yeah, exactly. And this is why I say to people that say he 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 should have pulled up on Kanan. Him pulling up on Kanan would have been just like him giving Kanan, you know, putting a hit out on Kanan. Come on. He cannot be seen with Kanan that much. At the end of the day, he is police. He police. He can't. He can't roll up on his son and talk. It's a. It's a touchy situation. So he has to steer clear. He couldn't. That would be like that. Would, that's more dangerous than planting a gun on him like Rock did. Howard talking to him. Come on, man. Defcon already a little suspect. You got. You got pops are already asking too many damn questions, saying she ain't never seen Defcon with a with a girl, except Rock. She she's starting to put two and two together with her weirdo self. And if Howard keep coming around, ain't no telling. You know, people gonna start putting in that puzzle, putting those puzzle pieces together, and then the secret is gonna be out. And we can't have that. We can't have that. But I am upset about this death. Because I'm never going to be able to say, Modot J, I told you she, I told you she didn't know he was a cop. I'm never going to be able to say that. I'm never going to be able to say it. And we're going to, I'm going to still have to listen to these bum ass theories. Still going to have to listen to these bum ass theories from these haters who don't want to see a woman going crazy in the dope game. You know what I'm saying? All because Burke want to say 16 year old snitch. Let us see the name. And, and even if Howard put her name down, Howard is grimy as hell. I wanted answers, but I don't think I'm going to get those answers because they killed the wrong person. Damn it, this is fr frustrating. Come on, Raising Canaan. We don't care about Lou. Why are you scared to get rid of Lulu and Unique? 
I'm not even gonna get on Unique still being alive, but why in the hell is Lulu alive? This is crazy. This dude robbed this dude went to Scraps Mom Crib, confessed and forgot about it. Robbed a store for a bottle of liquor. Like, come on, he doing all type of hot stuff. He will he will admit to he will admit these murders to anybody. He talk, he's looking at how we're talking about. I can solve all the murders on the south side. And Lulu, I keep bringing him up because he put the final nail in the coffin of Detective Howard. And we did not need Howard to get eliminated. We needed Lulu to get eliminated. I'm never going to have the answers to my questions. And it is frustrating. Because it is punk right here. Because it is punk right here. I do want to sit around and listen to some damn Jingo Bells. It's not like you gave a fuck about me anyway. I was just a hammer that you pull out of your toolbox whenever you needed shit now, right? And I shouldn't have been that nigga for you. And maybe if I had said no, maybe scrap. Shut up. Shut the hell up, Lulu. Freaking bum. Man. Rest in peace, Howard, man. He might decide to see can you do for that road you got, more? I saw that in his eyes that night. The game ain't for him. Now, I ain't gonna not paint it for pop me. I deserve what happened that night. He said the game not for his son, and then the boy's mama does this. That bullet's out there now. Circling the world with your name on it. And you're going to be running from it for forever. You wanted to be in it? You wanted to be in it? Nicole Washington says, once Lulu leaves rehab, he's going to be ready to go back to work with the family business. I don't know if he ever going to get over this. He's going to be a whole different person. Man, I, I just wish, like, man... He didn't have to cause so many problems just without Lulu problems. If he just disappeared and was gone this season, my man Howard would still be alive because he wouldn't have had to waste valuable time and resources trying to hunt this drug, this uh drunk ass clown down. That's what lined him up because Howard was a, was a smooth talker. He could have talked his way out of anything, but there's no way he could talk his way out of, Helping out Lulu and helping out Famous. But the Famous thing, he probably could have talked his way out of helping out Famous. He was a neighborhood kid. I knew I didn't want to see him get a charge. I let him go. But Lulu? No. This right here is what lined him up. Craziness. Damn, man. Howard lived enough. <laughs> he beat a bullet. And cancer, let him rest in peace. No, that dude, I, I, you know, I love the grimy characters. We we got rid of Howard and we could have got rid of Lulu. We did not need Lulu. Lulu lived enough, he did dig more grimy stuff than Howard. Lou Thomas did more grimy stuff than Howard, and that's a fact. Yo, you got her number? Lou. Mm, mm, mm. Jukebox was killing that. Jukebox was killing that. Juke was go <laughs> going in. But this bozo, once again, man, messed it up. Got one of the greatest characters in power history. The grimiest cop in in the power universe. Detective Howard. He's even grim grimier than, than, than Sax. Who's the grime? Yeah, Sax didn't never even caught a body. 
Marvin should have gone to prison this season. Facts. And who else, who was trying to put him there to save everybody? Howard. But Rock wasn't going. But the but the evil Rock, or quote unquote, the woman that's so evil that it already lined this dude up, couldn't line him up again. Y'all got to admit y'all hating everybody who's saying Rock sent Marvin to prison. You got to admit that you a hater, right? The proof is in the pudding, man. We got to go by what we, what we see. Howard had to play. Let's get the fans off of the family, right? We family. Me, you, and the boy are family. We got to get the cops off of us. So let's line up your brother. And Rock said, hell no. Nah. If she was so grimy and so quick to get Marvin up out of here to take the business over, why in the hell wouldn't she just line him up again? Which was the better play? I'm sorry. One of these Thomas brothers, if not both of them, got to go. But they want to get, get rid of Howard. This is crazy. You got this. You got Marvin sitting up here going on dates. Going on dates. Going on dates. Baking cookies for some kids. And he's selling drugs. A walking, living contradiction. You selling drugs, selling H, and then you going on dates at the park with your, with Gerald, who lining you up. Then you got Lulu doing all this crap. So yes, DeMarcus, you're right. His ass should have went to prison. He should have went to prison. And Lulu should have got rolled. And they should not have killed Detective Howard. Right? He the only person putting in work to keep my stepson safe. For me, he the only person who, who even cared about Kanan. He did nothing wrong to Kanan. Everybody else done backstabbed Kanan. Marvin won't even look out for him, threatening him. Lulu's a bozo. Jukebox is jealous. Mom planting, planting guns on him. <clears throat> Ronnie lining them up, using them. Famous using them. Won't even tell about the and that won't even tell about uh the gun being planted. Everybody against Kanan except his dad. The same person who he shot. And I'm not making none of this up. I don't understand why y'all don't see this. The same person, Howard is literally the only person on the show who never did nothing negative to Kanan. But I understand a lot of people don't like Kanan for whatever reason. They don't like Kanan because Kanan didn't say, okay, ma, you lied to me my whole life. It's okay. I'll go home. I'll be a good boy. It's all right, ma. I see you being a drug queen pen. I see people sh uh, uh, shooting at us. I won't try to step up. I'll just go home. I'll just go to the school. No. Howard never did anything but try to protect Kanan. That's all he did. You think he wanted to, uh, to kill Detective Burke? You think he wanted to smoke her goofy self? You think he wanted to smoke her goofy self? Because I don't. What about all the shit you did to cover it up, Uncle? You had Sam killed. I know it was you. It had to be. If you did that, who knows what else you could have done? Who knows? Mm, mm, mm. All that for him to end up having the same fate. A shot to the side of the head. The same fate. A shot to the no, side okay. of the head. I'm on the string. Okay, that's all. We'll back. call you right back. Okay. Oh. <laughs> My bad. A shot to the side of the head. Just like Burke. The same fate. It's disgusting. See 
all because the Thomas brothers want to be suckers. All because your favorite characters want to go on dates and get drunk. What is going on here, man? What is going on? How am I? Who? First of all, Kelly Kells, let me know who am I supposed to be hating on so I could defend myself. Who am I hating on? Who am I hating on? Yes, he did. Fan, you, I, he might not have switched up on him, but he expect Kanan to take care of him. He didn't tell Kanan about the gun in the bag. He didn't have Kanan's back and that. No, and Kanan can't depend on famous for nothing. Yeah, people, people so uh, enamored with famous staying solid. Famous stays solid for himself. Yeah, he, he's not gonna tell on himself. He said he still should have told Kanan about that gun. I'm not forgetting about that. That is huge. How you let your man's walk into a school? No, you're supposed to tell him. First of all, you shouldn't have opened the door. Your allegiance should be to Kanan, not Rock. All you had to do was say, look, Miss Thomas, no, you can't come in. Point blank, period. Stop being a sucker, famous. Throwing plugs up. Ah, uh, yeah. Rock, rock is on another level. Definitely famous. I, hey, the Thomas brothers are despicable. Listen, I know Marvin showed a lot of improvement, right? But the fact his relationship with Gerald, out of pocket, man. I got to hold that into account. Yeah, Marvin did a lot better. But the thing with the things with the Gerald, disgusting. Come on, man. And Lulu, come on. Lulu out of pocket. Lulu is out of pocket. But yes, man, the story of Malcolm Howard, I'm about to slide up out of here, man, real quick, man. Yes, one of the Thomas brothers should have died before this great, great character. Notice I ain't say a great man. He's a disgusting human being. Yes. However, he was a great character, and it will be far more interesting to have him on the show as opposed to either Marvin or especially Lulu. Who would, who would be better to have on the show, man? Come on, man. Howard did not have to go. And Howard would want to be good to have a cop on the inside. Now we don't even got no cop on the inside or nothing. And they had nothing on the man. All they had on the man was Lulu. All they had on him was Lulu. And there was no way he could explain that. So he knew his ass was going down. But he wasn't going to bring Rock or Kanan down. Facts. Lulu needed to go. He needed to go, man. Appreciate everybody for falling through, man. But, hey. Appreciate everybody for rocking with me. Let me hit that like button before we slide up out of here, man. Anything, any, any, anything, anything else y'all want me to talk about before we slide up out of here? Definitely. Oh, appreciate you, Demarcus. Howard's death was like Scrappy's full circle. Let's take a look at each one. Right, you know I got both. First, of course, we're gonna take a look at Howard. See this shit? Hey, that slow motion blowback is crazy, man. The slow motion blowback is crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. Now let now let's take a look at Scrappy's death, right? Which one was the worst? Boy, scrap say that boy got the Harlem shake. Ha <laughs> ha! 
My man Scrap say, I'm still going, I'm going with Scrap, man, because of this little dance he pulled. He put a little, a little saucer dance, a little. <laughs> My man Scrap say. So that's the first time I noticed that little Diddy Bop. Ha! He let that boy do doing do the merengue. That boy doing the little salsa. <laughs> ha! Boy scrap say <laughs> Oh man Hey oh man my boy scrap oh that's I just noticed that I should have been <laughs> I gotta put some music to that hey yeah it was Howard's fault but hey him and his right ass mama had to go man he shouldn't have lied I don't care no about scrap that boy got hey rock had that boy dance. He had that boy dance. <laughs> no. No. Rock had that boy dance. That boy was dancing. That boy had hot feet. <sighs> Worst mother. Scrap mama. Oh, man. Famous mama don't know no better, man. She she just a dumb dumb mama. She don't know no better, dog. She did the law-abiding citizen thing. She ain't from the street. Scrap mama know better. Uh, famous mama get a pass, bro. She just a stupid mama. Even though she should have knew better. Even though she should have known better. Yo, I'm about to slide up out of here, man. This has been a fun live. Hey, I might be back with the with the exclusive, exclusive, exclusive uh uncut pack, man. I might be we might be back. Team Toxic might be back with the uncut pack tonight. So definitely keep your notification bells on. You know what I'm saying? OT lungs, Detroit Kings, Lays, Booby. Yeah, it's time. It's time for that uncut pack, man. And this might be the last pack that's not just for members only. Yeah, join the membership so you can watch that Raising Brillo episode one, two. Did I drop three? I ain't dropped three. I just did the, the thumbnail for it. Episodes one and two and some behind the scenes. We about to slide up out of here as my computer is about to die, man. Appreciate everybody for falling through.